Members of cooperative banks at National Treasury, at the invitation of the Cooperative Banks Development Agency, an agency of National Treasury, cooperative banks are similar to Stockfields, but they operate differently. It's a similar concept. The, the difference is that now a, a Stockfell uh, can be formed by two or three or five people. Now, the difference with a, a cooperative bank or a cooperative financial institution, you need to be 200 members. Uh, you must also uh, have at least a, a share capital uh, of about 100,000. So you also need to own shares. So you become a shareholder, you get a share certificate, and its, continu its continuity is uh, perpetual uh, in, compared to a stock file. A stock fail can be established for a purpose that will end in December where people, everyone withdraws their money. But a cooperative bank is perpetual. Then you add other financial products, your insurance, any other financial product that you want to add. So that's the difference. The Cooperative Bank's development agency has been in existence for almost a decade now. Like the cooperative banking sector, it too is still trying to find its feet. We want to talk about establishing a cooperative bank for the public sector. But also we want to talk about, we are talking about the transformative nature of cooperative banking, particularly for the small and medium-sized uh, enterprises, where they can access their loans through the cooperative banks, they can access training for business acumen through their cooperative banks, they can access insurance products, retirement funds, all sorts of financial services that is almost impossible for them to access through the normal mainstream commercial banks. There is yet no firm plans and timelines for getting things really going in the cooperative banking sector. Bongani Muchwa, SABC News, Pretoria.